Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today I wanted to show something that I intentionally left out of the, uh, the uh, Tammy's new deck build, uh, because I knew that I was going to make another video on just the caps for the uh, each corner and everywhere you see a 4 before. <coughs> And uh, I just wanted to, I, I need to make four of them for my porch, so uh, this is probably not going to be the same exact design as the other one. Uh, I may do something different on mine, but uh, it's pretty much the same process. And it's just, uh, basic, basically you're just lathing it with this, the table saw, uh, but making it square. So... First thing we're going to do is I need four of them and I'm going to cut them at six inches apart. I've already got it uh, measured, the table, and, or the uh, fence and the blade, six inches. And we're going to go ahead and cut those and um, we'll get started. about a loud table saw. All right, so now we know that we want a point, so we're going to start in the center here, and we're going to have a point. All right, just like that. But that's going to be the last thing you do. You want to keep this square for as long as you can. But we're just going to draw a design on it first just to give us an idea of what we're going to do so you know we can take and turn this bottom piece and you want a way to screw it down on the, the uh, deck I don't like those center screws that you screw down on there they don't always work right so I like to put screws down on two sides so I always leave myself enough room for a screw, a three inch screw to go down through there. So I'll just do a design here like that on each side. You know, just a slight, uh, I mean, you can make it sharper, you can make it down further or whatever, make it a different degree angle. All right, so we know that's where you're going to do your cut so the reason I cut a design like that on the last one is because I cut this here top off first I made my angles on the top first and then I, when it comes time to put it up against the fence to cut the other angle the other 45 so I could do a 45 like that Instead, I did that number right there, straight across, and simply because I had cut this off first, and I couldn't use this up against the fence because it would sit there and do this number. So that's why I said, keep this thing square at all times. So this time, I'm going to try to do like a 30 degree angle on both of those. 20 or whatever so we're going to cut that first so I'm going to put my fence but first I'm going to change the angle of my saw to match my drawing and adjust if I want to change it to a different angle take this where the corner is and put it up on this side and we're going to drop that down to where those meet 
and you want to make sure that you have the center tooth at the highest point. You want them to meet each other when you cut the next one. That looks like it should work. So now we're going to set we're going to set our fence. I hate this fence. It's a piece of shit. You can't clamp this all the way down when you're right here in this area where the handle is because it hits the handle. Anyway, so now we should be able to cut that piece. So now, let's do it again. Now we've got all four sides cut, all right, on all four of them. Now we need to cut the other side out. So now we're going to do that one. So the way we do that is turn it around. Now if you would have cut the, the, cop, the roof off first, you wouldn't be able to do this. So now we've got to do this. that direction right there. So now we're going to take this and put it up against our blade and I eyeball. Alright, now we can go ahead and cut that. Just double check. Alright. got our base and all I'll do is just drill a hole right there countersink it do the same thing on this side so now you got the base now we're just going to keep the same angle and we're going to take the top off of this take and uh, put me a groove right here and right here so we'll get on that so what we do is we got to straighten our blade up now wanted about a tooth width or a tooth uh, depth. All you're doing is just putting a design in it.
Now we've got my cat's mate. I like hers better. Um, the ones I made her. Uh, I probably should have left that the way I did hers. I just don't like the V in it. I like it better than the V. The one I made her started here, went down, and straight up in the middle, so it was just half of this area out. Um, plus this was a little heavier, and I should have made that a little heavier because that's a little thin for driving a screw down in there. So, you know, I should have brought this line up a little bit, probably right here, and then worked with what I had left. So, but there you have my four, and I'll show you how I um, drilled the holes too. Stay tuned. All right, so basically what we did is we needed a way to hold this so that this part here was level. So here's what I did. I made a couple tables like this that just had a two by four and I, one of them's got a, a two by three on it. And I just put it in my jaws here and use it as a table, a sacrificial table. So. I had two of them and I used this one for this job so basically what I did was brought that down set that on there And then all I did, I'll show you here, is made or screwed a little board here on this and a board down here so that this here would set right in there and they'd all be the same. So now all I gotta do, since that's square to the bit, which it ain't yet, it's a little off, so I need to adjust it again. But um, now, once I've set it to where I want the center to go in the center of this, where I want it, then I can start drilling all of them. So, I'll get it set up here and we'll show you how it works. There is how you make deck, whatever you call them, caps. Uh, you can do any design you want. You know, you can come in here later and just saw a 45 right here on each corner. And that'll give you a 45 degree cut on that. I have 45 degree corners. Uh, you can add stripes. Um, hell, you can even... Uh, run it sideways and do a diagonal stripe or a cross or anything. I mean, it's just endless. You can make this wider and put a groove right here. Uh, but you got the basic idea. And um, these ain't too bad. I just wish I'd have made that thicker because I'm gonna be driving a three inch screw in there. I might do a two inch. Depends on how far a two inch. I do this one. Yeah, I might do two inch. But anyway, there you have bison built decking caps. Got all four of them.
by bison. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Later.